In this video, we're going to be looking at track mats and blend modes to create really dynamic, interesting compositions within After Effects. This is a really powerful technique that allows us to take high contrast monochromatic images and use them to create a mat that reveals other footage or imagery based on where the light part of the image is and where the dark part of the image is. It's a very easy effect to create but it's also a very powerful one, one that you will see used frequently. The key to this effect, like a lot of effects, is using good footage to begin with. There's only so much we can do with poor footage at the start, so let's have a look at what makes good footage for a track mat and how to apply one. So to create a track mat, we need footage that's high in contrast and ideally monochromatic. A track mat is going to create a transparency based on the light parts or the dark parts of the image. Therefore, if we have a lot of mid-tone and color information that isn't necessarily just brights or darks, then we're not going to be able to create a clear, good quality track mat. There's going to be transparency aberrations and artifacts all over our composition that we don't want. So this clip, we have black ink diffusing into water with a bright white background. So this is a pretty good starting point. However, as you can see, there are gray areas within it, and we can do some things to boost that contrast and clear up that white to create a really solid track mat. As always though, we're gonna begin by creating a composition. I've created my composition here, and it's just a standard full HD comp. I'm going to start by taking my footage and bringing that in. I'm gonna scrub through it until we can see the ink. I'm going to have a look and we can see in certain areas there is hints of grey and other colour tones coming in. So we're going to boost our contrast and increase our brightness to force this to a much more monochromatic image. I'm going to come to my effects and presets and I can find brightness and contrast. I'm going to apply it to my clip. I'm going to increase the contrast and I'm going to push up the brightness. So now if I have a look at my clip, if I turn it off and on, you can see in these areas in particular, we're going from actually quite a lot of grey and browns to a much more solid black. And also, you'll notice we still have some kind of sepia tone parts to the image. So I'm going to put one more effect onto this, which is to drop it to black and white. And that will give us a really good clean track mat. Now the next thing we need when we're working with track mats is the image that's being revealed. So we have another image here. It's this sky. I'm going to scale it up. And I'm going to drop it to the lower layer so that it's beneath our ink. Now we have a look down in our layers, you'll see we have lots of options. We have modes, which are the blend modes, and track mat, as well as our parent and link. Now if these aren't visible, we just toggle those switches, we'll have FX and motion blur and 3D layers and all that good stuff, but we need to make sure we can see our track mats. Now the track mat, listens to the layer directly above it, and I'll make that layer invisible. So if I open it up, I get a number of options. I can either use the alpha channel and create an alpha mat, but in this instance, there is no alpha channel to work off of. There's no transparency layer. So in this instance, we're gonna work off the luma, the brightness, how close to pure white that pixel is. So I can create a luma mat. It'll make all of the white perfectly transparent. But this isn't giving us the effect we want. We want the ink to reveal the image rather than it just be perfectly on top of it. So in this instance, we will select the luma inverted. So now if we play, the shape of the ink will diffuse down perfectly matted and tracking over where it's a bit lighter. It kind of shows through and there's a mix of opacities, but it's on this black background. 
But one of the things that's really powerful about track mats is the fact that they create transparencies. It is only revealing this cloud layer based on the track mat, but that cloud layer is now transparent everywhere where it's not being revealed. It's created a mat of the image. So we're then able to put other background elements behind it or create multiple track mats to create interesting different effects. So let's do that. I'm going to take my ink again. I'm going to scrub it to a different point in time. And I'm going to apply the same effects. So this time we're going to bring in a texture. Repeat the same scaling. And drop it down in the layers. And we'll select Luma Inverted again. We now have two mats coming at the same time. Now remember our texture is only being revealed where that ink Luma mat is coming from. But this also means that we could, for example, rotate our image. I have the two coming into each other. We can then take another image, such as this texture, place it in the background. And we'll give it a black and white effect as well. And we'll drag onto the layers to ensure we get the correct one. And now we have these two inks merging into each other, revealing different images. One last element I'm going to add to this composition is a quick piece of text. Now we're not going to go into any real detail for text in this video. We're just going to use the text tool to create a text box. So I've created some text on a lower layer. I'm going to decrease its size and give it a color. I'm going to place that layer and I'm going to put a very quick effect on that text. Just to help lift it up. Now as we play this and the ink comes in, one goes behind and one goes in front. So we're creating a nice little amount of depth within our composition. So now let's look at blend modes. Now the blend modes in After Effects function in the exact same way as the blend modes do in Photoshop and Illustrator. There are a few additional ones that involve the alpha channel, but if there's any that are familiar to you, they function in the exact same way. So let's look at some standard kind of everyday blend modes, such as the lighten and darken ones, and apply them to a basic composition. So I have my new composition here, and I'm going to take this image of this woman's portrait and profile. So I'm going to scale up to fill my whole frame. I'm then going to take another graphic and put it on a lower layer. I'm going to take this texture image, for example. And I'm going to scale that as well. And I'm going to make the, the portrait visible again. And of course, as we would expect, the lower layer has been obscured by the higher layer. But if we have a look at our blend modes, I have a big long list. So we've got a few basic ones at the top that we use on a regular basis, and they're logically grouped. We have the normal at the top, where there'll be no change. The transparency of the pixel has not been altered in any way. And then we have things such as darken and multiply. Now what these do, and this group here, is they will make the light parts of the image transparent. So whites and pale tone colors will become transparent. Pure white will become completely invisible. Beneath that, we have the opposite. Darker colors will become invisible with the varying shades of opacity depending on the tone of that color. So let's start by choosing Multiply. And the light parts of this image have become transparent, revealing the texture beneath. If we were to choose Add, for example, we would have the opposite effect, where the white, bright parts of the image 
the bright pixels would remain untransparent, they would retain their full opacity, and the darker parts of the image would then fade off and become transparent at different opacities depending on how dark that was. Thus revealing the image beneath. So if I place this back to normal, I'm going to take another image. I'm going to bring our clouds back in. And I'm going to scale those as well. If I now, for example, choose lighten or screen, we then have the profile of this figure rolling through the clouds, which is a very different effect than when it's on the paper texture. So it's all about the source material we're working with and no single blend mode is going to work for every situation. It's entirely dependent on the visuals you're wanting to create and the assets that you're working with. The blend modes, because they're working off how bright or how dark a pixel is, are also obviously affected by any effects that we apply. So for example, if I was to apply a levels to the portrait and increase the white point, or the black point, and then fine tune the mid, I can fine tune how much of that image is going to be affected, but I can fine tune it to get to a point where I am happy. It certainly helps that the source image we're working with was very monochromatic. However, that doesn't necessarily need to be the case for this effect to work. For example, with the clouds, which whilst there is a, some dark areas and some very bright areas, is definitely not monochromatic in colour, I can still apply screen modes and mix the clouds with that texture. We can also stack multiple layers with multiple blend modes and still create, use that to create a really interesting overall look. And again, as always, the interesting things about After Effects always come when we stack and use multiple effects in interesting and dynamic ways. So for example, if I put all of this together, I can have the face revealed as if it is a cloud in that sky in the shape of the ink. Whilst this is all still quite static, we could be doing this with video. However, a little secret sauce to add to this composition may be to add a keyframe to elements such as the portrait, such as its scale, its scaling as well as being revealed, and do a similar effect with the texture in the background. Scale that up as well. So we bring all of this in together. There's a bit more dynamicism around the image and the composition is a bit more interesting. So that was track mats and blend modes. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.